My name is Dave Stevens, along with my partner, Mike Steele. This game is shaping up to be really exciting, Dave. Both teams are primed and ready for some football. Yes, sir. This isn't the first time we've seen this rodeo, Mike. I think that both of these teams have something to prove today. And he's brought down after a return of 12. The home team begins the drive from the 21-yard line. The quarterback steps back into the pocket. There's a penalty marker on the field. Let's see what the call on the field is. The away team will accept the penalty. We had seen the defender talking to the ref a few plays ago. It seemed like it just paid off with the call. Go. The QB looking to pass. Incomplete pass. The defense comes out with five DBs. Go. He steps back to pass. Number 15 makes the reception. Third down. Go. He steps back to pass. He can't bring it in. The punt team makes its way up to the line. Go. The punt's away. Number 26 catches the punt. The away team will begin the drive from the 47. <laughs> he hurls one. Incomplete pass. The quarterback hands it off. Third down. Go. Number three, handing it off. That'll bring up fourth down. Sometimes it's a good strategy to play the field position game. Get yards Tonight. when you can and hope for a good stop on defense so you can give it another go closer to the end zone. The home team starts the drive from the 20. Go. The quarterback hands it off. Second down. Tonight. Number three with the top. That brings up a crucial third down. Number 23 on the carry. Fourth down. That's a smart play call. You were in a bad position on third down. Take a few yards and live to fight another day. The return man takes the punt. Makes the return up to the 35. The QB hands it off. Second down. Second down for the away team. Go. Number three drops back. He can't bring it in. Let's see what the call is on third down. <clears throat> Makes the handoff to number 23. First down. Blocking can be one of the more overlooked aspects of running, but their impact on that first down run was pretty evident. He throws one off to the sideline. And he safely steps out up at the 18. Good enough for a first down. <laughs> Dropping back. Throws the ball. The runner steps out of bounds. That brings up second down. Second down. A penalty marker on the play. We'll see if the penalty affects the outcome. The away team is going to go with the results of the play instead of the penalty. That will bring up third down. Number three hands it off. I think that's a good call by the coach. There's still a lot of game left, and you don't want to force things and make a mistake here. It's up. He split the uprights for three points. That's good from 24 yards out. The away team with the first score of the game. Three, nothing. You always want to start with momentum, Dave. 
Points can be a premium in the Exus League. We've got an injured player down on the field. The home team has a great opportunity to get back out in front of this ball game on this drive. He makes the handoff. That brings up second down. Go. Miss tackle. That brings up a crucial third down. Go. The QB dropping back. Incomplete. Well, it looks like we have got an injured player on the field. Go! Number two, punts it away. Fielded at the 20-yard line. The away team has the chance to make this a two-score game with this possession. Dropping back, tosses a pass to the middle of the field. Second down and short. Go! He takes the ball. That'll be enough for the first down. He dodges away. Good enough for a first down. A fresh set of downs for the offense. Number 38 takes the carry. Second down. The ball falls to the ground. Incomplete. Pitches the ball out to the runner. He sheds off the defender. He steps out of bounds. It's almost like he can walk these first downs. I'm looking for a personnel change on this defense. Sacked. Loss of 10. Second down. The first quarter comes to an end. The away team with the lead. 3 nothing. Quarterback to pass. Finds a target. That will bring up third down. Touchdown! The away team had all cylinders firing on that touchdown. It's up. And it's good. The away team adds to their score. Ten, nothing. The home team needs to respond to that score quickly to get the momentum going on their side. Taken at the 10-yard line. Overall today, they've been outperformed on offense. It's time for them to buckle down and get things moving if they want any chance of turning things around. The quarterback with the handoff. The home team comes out in a four-receiver set. He drops back to pass, and he can't reel it in. A crucial third down for the offense. Drops back into the pocket, play action, and he's tackled by number 44. Nice route and pass to pick up the first down there. Go. Number three with the handoff. That will bring up second down. He hands it to number 23. First down. This line today, regardless of who is in the backfield, they're making it a point to create those running lanes. Go! That gets us to third down. Go! 
He tosses one up beyond the first down. The home team lines up with one back in the backfield. Second down. Five receivers for the home team. Quarterback to pass. Makes the throw. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown. That's a play they won't mind seeing over and over in film this week. It's up, and it's good. The home team closes the gap a bit. Ten, seven. The home team pulls it to a one-possession game with that score. Number 11 takes the kickoff. Tackled after a return of 23. The away team comes into this drive with a one-possession lead. I'm looking for them to try and take a chunk of time off the clock and grab another score. Tonight. Number three hands it off. There looks to be an injury down on the field. Second down. Go. Steps into the pocket, throws it. The pass falls harmlessly to the ground. A crucial third down for the offense. Go. The running back on the run. And that's enough for a first down. Hey. The running back on the carry. That gets us to second down. Second down. Tonight. He hands it off. That'll be enough for the first down. When you can pick up the first by running, it really opens up your playbook for the next set of downs. Number 14 with the catch. Hey. Number three, dropping back. The receiver can't bring it in. A crucial third down for the offense. <clears throat> Dropping back, makes the throw to the right side, deep. And he crosses the goal line for a touchdown. That's a play I expect to see on SportsCenter's The Top Ten tonight. Great long <clears throat> pass for the score. And it's good. The away team extends their lead, 17-7. You give up more points here, and you almost don't want to walk back to the sidelines to hear it from the coaches. The return man takes the kick, and he's brought down after a return of 19. The offense needs to execute on this drive if they want to start eating away at that lead they've let the other team build up on that. He makes the throw, and that's enough for a first down. A good first down for the defense is an incomplete pass or a short run, not another first down. I guess they didn't get the memo. Second down. Second down for the home team. He steps back to pass. Number 47, cutting through blockers, the sack. That will be a loss of nine. That brings up a crucial third down. The QB dropping back, and he can't reel it in. The QB took a deep shot there for the first down, but the defense had it covered the whole way. He punts it away. Number 26 takes the kick. The away team has built up a nice lead and should focus on extending this drive as long as possible to eat up that clock. The quarterback makes the pitch. That brings up second down. Lining up on second down. Dropping back. Tosses a pass. Incomplete. Let's see what the call is on third down. He takes the ball. The home team takes a timeout here. Fourth down. 
A conservative run call on third and long. You don't want to unnecessarily take any risks there and end up in a situation that's difficult to recover from. This drive will begin from the 20. Go! Tosses the ball. Tackled by number 28. The quarterback drops back. The QB will be sacked in the back at the 16-yard line. There looks to be an injury down on the field. The away team will use their first time out here. Third down. The home team comes out in punt formation. The punter punts it away. Number 26 takes the kick. The away team has built up a nice lead and should focus on extending this drive as long as possible to eat up that clock. Go. He drops back to pass. The receiver can't bring it in. Second down. Quarterback back to pass. Makes the reception. The away team uses their last timeout. Quarterback to pass. Makes the reception. Second down. Go. Steps into the pocket. Throws one to the right side of the field. That marks the end of the second quarter. The away team up so far. 17 7. Number seven sends it off. Fielded at the eight. And he's brought down after a return of 19. Emma Adams is down on the field and has some information for us. Guys, I had a chance to discuss the first half with the coach for the home team. Keep shutting them down, is what he told me. They had a lot of success stopping the pass in the first half and plan to keep the momentum rolling in the third quarter. Back to you, Dave. Thanks for the update, Emma. That'll be enough for the first down. That's a well-executed run to move the chains. Throws one along the sideline, and he misses his mark. Second down for the away team. Throws the ball out to the sideline. That will bring up first down. Fifth play of the drive. That will bring up second down. Hands it to number 23. Third down. Tonight. The QB makes the toss. That'll be enough for the first down. This line today, regardless of who is in the backfield, they're making it a point to create those running lanes. Second and short. Go. Fakes the handoff and looks to pass. A flag on the play. We'll see if the penalty affects the outcome. The home team takes the penalty. We had seen the defender talking to the ref a few plays ago. It seemed like it just paid off with the call. Makes the catch. That gets us to third down. I think that's a clear case of blown coverage. He was wide open. Go! Makes the handoff to number 23. Go! The kick is made. And it's good. The away team widens the gap a bit with that score. 27. You see the defense almost motion to clear some room on the bench. 
These guys are getting winded. Fielded at the 12. Overall today, they've been outperformed on offense. It's time for them to buckle down and get things moving if they want any chance of turning things around. Go! Second down. Second down. He drops back, makes the throw. The receiver can't bring it in. The home team with three receivers. Go! That brings up fourth down. The offense lines up to punt this one away. The punt's away. Number 26 takes the punt. The away team should focus on time of possession here. Keep the ball away from the other team. Drag this game out. Steps into the pocket. The runner breaks out of the tackle. And he's off. And he's tackled by number 21. Second down. Go. The handoff is taken by number 23. Third play of the drive for the away team. He hands it to the runner. That will bring up second down. Second down. Number three. Back to pass. He can't bring it in. There looks to be an injury down on the field. Third down. Pitches it out to number 23. A conservative run call on third and long. You don't want to unnecessarily take any risks there and end up in a situation that's difficult to recover from. The home team needs to get something going on this drive. Makes the toss to number 23. The offense with a single back in the backfield. The QB gives it a fumble on the field. And he's taken down by number 69. My high school coach would make you carry around a ball for a day during school if you fumble. <laughs> the away team has built up a nice lead and should focus on extending this drive as long as possible to eat up that clock. Number 23 takes the ball. He crosses the goal line. Touchdown. The running back showed great vision on that run, hitting the gap at the right time to shoot into the end zone. It's good. The away team adds to their score. 27-7. The away team is really moving out in front of this matchup. Number 16 catches the kickoff. The home team needs to execute on this drive if they want to start eating away at that lead they've let the other team build up on them. The quarterback hands it off. That will bring up second down. Quarterback to pass. Throws it across the first down line. That will bring up first down. Pitches the ball out to the runner. That brings up second down. The third quarter comes to an end. The away team up so far. 27 7. Hey. Number 23 on the carry. Three receivers for the home team. Heaves a pass, and he misses his mark. This is exactly why third and long is so hard to convert. It takes time for the receivers to get to the first down marker, and by then, the QB is under pressure and forced to make a difficult throw. The punt will sail into the end zone and will be brought out to the 20-yard line. The away team needs to play it smart here. They're in control of this game and need to focus on Tonight. not making mistakes. Throws one. Pass the first down marker. Hey. 
drops back into the pocket. It's caught by number 12. First down. Great anticipation by the quarterback to throw it where the receiver needed to be. Number 23 takes the ball. That'll give them a fresh set of downs. A penalty flag on the field. The home team will accept the penalty. A lot of false starts are caused by players getting preoccupied with what they're going to do on the play and forgetting the snap count. He flings a pass along the sideline. Number three steps back into the pocket. The ball falls to the ground incomplete. Tonight. Pitches it out to number 23. Number seven makes the kick, and he's good from 40 yards out. The away team extends their lead, 37. The defensive coordinator was worried about this. He knows they can strike at will, and they prove it again here. Well, it looks like we've got an injured player on the field. Overall today, they've been outperformed on offense. It's time for them to buckle down and get things moving if they want any chance of turning things around. The QB hands it off. That gets us to second down. <laughs> Brought down almost immediately up near the 23. That gets us to third down. He sets up and throws high over the center of the field. There's a flag on the field. Well, we'll see if that holds up after the penalty. The away team takes the penalty. We had seen the defender talking to the ref a few plays ago. It seemed like it just paid off with the call. Tosses the ball deep off to the right side. He can't bring it in. The QB took a deep shot there for the first down, but the defense had it covered the whole way. The punts away. Taken at the 43. The home team needs to get their act together on defense. They'll need a big turnover or a quick stop to try and shift the momentum back in their favor. Go! And he goes down. Sacked back at the 49-yard line. So he drops back, fakes the handoff. We've got an injured player down on the field. Third down. Go! The receiver can't bring it in. Lining up to punt. Put. He punts it away. Number 26 takes the kick. The home team needs to get something going on this drive. Go. Dropping back, tosses the ball along the sideline. The ball falls to the ground, incomplete. Hike. He takes the ball. Loose ball on the field. That brings up a crucial third down. Number 23, on the run. Fourth down. The punt team makes its way up to the line. He punts it away. Taken at the 36-yard line. The away team needs to play it smart here. They're in control of this game and need to focus on not making mistakes. He's hit hard, and he'll be sacked down at the 37-yard line. Second down. Hut. Number 23 on the carry. Third down. 
A single back set for the away team. A flag on the play. The home team accepts the penalty. The QB is having a little chat with his lineman after that. The QB hands it off. That brings up fourth down. I think that's a good call by the coach. There's still a lot of game left, and you don't want to force things and make a mistake here. The home team has a great opportunity here to build some momentum and eat away at that lead they're facing. Tosses the ball to the left side of the field. The home team will use their first time out here. That brings up second down. He drops back to pass. Grabbed out of the air by number 14. The home team takes their third time out. Receiver gets up with the big first down motion. Pretty sure the defense have seen enough of that already. Caught. And he's tackled. The home team takes their last time out. That gets us to second down. Number 16 with the catch. Good enough for a first down. Fifth play of the drive. Quarterback to pass. Throws it off to the sideline. We've got an injured player down on the field. The QB drops back. That will bring up third down. Coming out in the gun. He steps back to pass. The ball falls to the ground. Incomplete. This is exactly why third and long is so hard to convert. It takes time for the receivers to get to the first down marker. And by then, the QB is under pressure and forced to make a difficult throw. First down. Second down. Second down for the away team. A flag on the play. The home team takes the penalty. Every player has to be aware of the play clock. Sure, QBs get the lion's share of blame, but any player can call a timeout. Let's see how the penalty affects things. The away team accepts the penalty. Seeing a lot of pointing from both sides of the ball, but it was clear that the defense jumped on that one. We've got an injured player down on the field. Third down. That brings an end to the game, and time for us to take a look at the Mike Steele stud of the game.